guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing this all-new 2022 Ford Maverick Lariat. And a huge thanks to Zach and the rest of the management and staff here at Ford of Port Ritchie for making this review possible. I'll leave a link to our inventory below, and if you're looking for a new car or truck in the Port Ritchie, Tampa, Clearwater area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Zach. And as most of you guys probably know by now, Ford really took the world by storm this year by releasing this all-new 2022 Ford Maverick with a base price starting under $20,000 for the XL trim level. We already reviewed an XL on this channel. It had the 2.0T turbo engine, so it cost a couple thousand bucks over 20 grand, but it was such a bargain for the money. Here we have the Lariat, which is a luxury trim level. It's the top of the line Ford Maverick with more luxury goodies with a base price starting closer to $27,000. What do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So up front, you notice your LED headlamps with a halogen turn signal in the center, LED daytime running light, full LED for the high and low beam, no forward-facing camera, but we get the sensing system for the Ford Copilot 360, which is equipped since we had the luxury package on the Solaria trim level. You notice your tow hooks up front. Those are equipped on your FX4 package, which also includes quite a few off-road goodies. We'll check that out as we step inside. Intercooler in front with a radiator right above it for this 2.0T, which puts out a very healthy 250 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. Made it to this 8-speed transmission and all-wheel drive. You can expect 0 to 60 in the low to mid 6-second range, making this an absolute no-joke performer. The wheel and tire setup also impressive. This comes equipped on your FX4 package too. These Y-spoke 18-inch rims wrapped in all-terrain tires. These are Pirelli Scorpion all-terrain tires, and I'm really liking the design for those blacked-out rims. Transforms this look extremely well compared to the XL that we reviewed that only had the steel rims. No plastic cladding surrounding the wheel well. Everything's body color, very clean look. Lariat emblem in the corner. The mirrors are all body color with this beautiful yellow metallic. I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly what this color is called. But I'm liking it. The glass fills up the entire frame. Blind spot monitoring on it. Black trim surrounding the window trim. The keypad. Smart access for the driver and a front passenger. Also coming equipped in the luxury equipment package. No smart access out rear but wouldn't really be expected. Out rear, the gas cap is pushed to open with easy fuel with this turbocharged four-cylinder engine. I'd encourage going with 93 octane or premium fuel when possible. Out rear, same wheel and tire setup. Only difference is a smaller brake caliper. You can get a good look at your exhaust tip. Independent rear suspension too, unlike most trucks on the road today. That's what makes this compact truck really stand out because the ride quality is very SUV-like. And most customers nowadays love SUVs, so definitely not a bad thing for a truck to feel like it. FX4 off-road badge in the corner. It's about an $800 package, but you get quite a bit for it. Out rear, no LEDs for the taillights. Not really a big deal. The turn signals and reverse lights are all halogen as well. Shout out to Ford of Port Ritchie for making this review possible here in Port Ritchie, Florida. Ford badge, rear view camera, Maverick. I kind of wish they had some color differentiation for it. All-wheel drive badge in the corner. Tow hitch, we get the 4K towing package, so this vehicle is equipped to tow up to 4,000 pounds. As far as payload, I'll show you right here exactly what the payload capacity is. We can pop this tailgate right down. It is not damped, so make sure you're holding on for it or it may end up falling off but the spray and bed liner also available on your luxury package the rails and tie downs also come equipped in your luxury package same with this beautiful bed liner the ac adapter comes equipped as well led lighting it's pretty easy to access this tailgate area before we do we can take a look at this little additional storage cubby you could throw some secret stuff in there maybe some cans for a tailgate party but to access this bed we don't need a step it's pretty low to the ground just simply put your leg up and pop yourself up i'm liking the third brake light area it's not led fifth window tough bed forward accessory spray in bed liner if you guys could have picked that up but taking a step out of this bed pretty easy process overall we can lift the tailgate right back take a step back get a good look at the rear styling one last time full rear parking sensing but let's fire up this two liter turbo and hear how she sounds All right, guys, that was the sound of the two liter turbo sold by Ford for this all new 2022 Maverick Lariat. We also have an available hybrid powertrain, but this is the two liter turbo. And as soon as you figure out this latch, well, there is one actually, which is nice, but we don't get struts to pop up the prop rod, just 
set it up. Not very difficult of a process compared to some of the other vehicles we reviewed recently. But here you have it, your 2 liter turbo cranking out 250 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. Made it to this 8 speed automatic transmission and all wheel drive system. You can expect 0 to 60 around 6 seconds, making it a real no joke performer. Battery on the driver's side, not the biggest deal though because the motor does seem to be pushed decently to the left. But what you see is basically what you get. Looks like we have a nice aluminum stick connecting the two strut towers. So we'll see how this car can handle or truck can handle once we take it out on the road. We'll shut this thing up as soon as we figure out the prop rod. And looks like we figured it out. Very light feeling hood. It's so light that it doesn't even look like we just closed it. So we'll just take a, one last little press on it and we figured it out. One more step back. Loving those daytime running lights. Hopefully you can pick it up on camera. They're not the brightest because of the sunny day, but still nice to have especially at night but as far as the interior this is where the Solaria trim with the luxury package really shines we have a ton a ton of options in this car up top everything's still hard plastic similar to the xl that we reviewed but the armrest area very gushy soft auto one touch for the front windows as far as the rear we get auto one touch too which is nice for the up and down like this little grab handle area decent little storage beneath you're easily fitting a foot long and probably a 16 ounce bottle banging olsen sound system also included on your luxury package it sounds surprisingly good the seats have a beautiful king ranch theme to it I'm liking the the navy blue and tan contrast baseball glove color leather very soft and comfortable lumbar control recline drip lift drop lift and slide as far as the interior itself we'll hop inside and really check it out but first thing we notice is the steering wheel is pretty thick up top solid 10 and 2 bolstering notch 9 and 3 feels great in your hands radar cruise control lane keep assist volume adjustments mute your songs and the cruise control settings overall the horn area is rubberized as far as the horn itself wow really aggressive sounding horn people will definitely be getting out of your way these buttons adjust your infotainment the 6.5 inch display cluster we're currently looking at tpms you can check out your music playing and a calm screen we can pop out of here press the menu button press select screens and you can adjust between now playing auto start stop and seatbelts we'll leave it at now playing i currently actually prefer what it's currently set to so we'll leave everything alone on the left side we get a 6500 rpm tech 140 for the speedometer gear we're currently in no paddle shifters it would be nice for this eight speed transmission but it's a responsive transmission the paddle shifters aren't necessarily a must have we get an eight inch touchscreen everything for the dashboard is hard plastic solid storage right above the touchscreen additional storage pocket right next to it but the screen itself it's responsive guys you press this home button we can get a look at what songs currently playing compass and connect the phone you press the compass nothing happens because navigation is not hooked up in this vehicle but we do get apple carplay and android auto adjust the volume for this bang and olsen sound system display vehicle settings my personal favorite to look at is the home screen hard buttons for the media air vents auto climate control heated seats also included on your luxury package heated outside mirrors engine start stop 12 volt you can open up your fifth window with this button usb c and usb port wireless charging pad and a ton of storage right next to it everything is rubberized with these trays the trays are also removable you can get a good look at what's underneath gear selector controls your eight speed auto transmission no manual shift controls but we do get a low gear electronic parking brake no brake hold but we do get auto start stop that we can disable for this review drive mode select you turn off your traction control this button um not quite sure what this button does so whatever it is leave in the comment section let me know it might be the brake hold for all i know <laughs> hill descent control too two cup holders with these flappy things to keep your drinks in place solid spot for a key right next to it coins would fit with no issues either solid spot for storage right in front of your super gushy soft center console with the navy blue contrast stitching huge thumbs up for how soft of a console this is very comfortable front seat in this area trim the space in this glove box is not glove box center console is also really impressive you're fitting multiple two liter bottles of soda in there kind of reminds me of the bronco that we reviewed in this channel just now very spacious passenger airbag you turn off all hard plastic but i'm liking the aggressive theme throughout it looks very rugged and functional the glove box is very well damped and we get an additional window sticker, so two window stickers in this car. We'll take a look at one of them in one second. But you're fitting at least 25, 30 license plates, two pairs of shoes. Should have no problem fitting. No auto dimming rear view mirror, but it's relatively frameless and you can dim it by pulling this little flappy thing. Interior lights are LED, sunglass holder. Cool. But other than that, that's really about it. No garage home link settings from what I see. We can take a look at the window sticker, see any features that I may have missed. 
And of course, we got the 2022 Maverick Lariat all-wheel drive 121-inch wheelbase, 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, eight-speed auto transmission, cyber orange metallic tint coat, uh, desert brown trim for the interior, standard equipment. You can take a look at all of these options. Include this $3,300 all-wheel drive system, for fit $495 for this cyber orange metallic tint coat, $800 for the FX4 off-road package, $3,750 for the Lariat luxury package, which gives us all those luxury goodies, banging all and sound system, beautiful interior. We get the upgraded bed and the AC adapters that we have in there too. And also included with the Lariat luxury package is a mandatory Ford Copilot 360. Rear parking sensor, Sears satellite radio, bed liner sprayed in, also included with your $3,750 Larry luxury package. After about $9,000 in total options, $1,400, $1,500 for the destination, total price closes out right above $36,000. Fuel economy is impressive, about $25 combined, $22,29. So for the money, I understand this is about $10,000 more than a base Larry trim, but you get a lot for the money. It's a very impressive little compact truck. We'll take it out for a drive, really check it out, but that's about it for this front seat and features. Let's check out the back seat. See how much space is offered back there, as well as the quality of the material. So out back, just like the front, hard plastic up top. Super soft though for the armrest. I'm liking that navy blue color scheme. Auto one touch, even for the rear passengers, for the way up as well. Just a plastic grab handle. Ton of storage though. I'll expect you to fit a six inch sub and two 20 ounce water bottles. The rear seats have that same King Ranch theme to it with this tan leather saddle tan leather and navy blue contrast and i'm impressed with how soft it is these feel like really comfortable seats taking a step inside i'm a little over six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and i have plenty of space guys compared to like the toyota tundra with a double cab this is more spacious this is more spacious than a hyundai santa cruz wow i have at least three four inches for my knees plenty of room for my feet map pockets behind both of the front seats no air vents it would be nice to get air vents but the santa cruz didn't get air vents either there may be something going on under the seat but blowing into my face nothing except for whatever's going on up front ac adapter too included on the luxury package usb c and usb good little coin slot the center little armrest gets a string you can open it up pretty soft leather pass through good spot for a phone two 16 ounce water bottles should have no problem fitting back here the interior light additional led this fifth window does open up and as far as the light bar into the cabin not a whole lot because we don't have a sunroof or moonroof or anything but we still get more than enough but other than that that's about it for the inside and outside of this 2022 ford maverick lariat let's do one more little quick walk around get a good look at the styling that fx4 badge is aggressive some tints would really work i, I kind of like this metallic yellow it also almost reminds me of a taxi cab from new york city but it looks pretty unique especially with that black out rim area but other than that that's about it for this exterior and interior for this 2022 ford maverick lariat let's take it out for a drive all right guys now we've seen just about everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all-new 2022 ford maverick lariat with the two liter turbo, let's take it out for a drive. And the first thing I notice is the steering feels directly on center. Like it feels sporty for a steer or of a steering rack. It doesn't feel truck like at all. Uh, we haven't had the chance to drive the new Bronco Sport, which holds a similar platform to this Maverick. But if it feels anything like this, it's definitely impressive. And the ride quality feels soft, especially with this FX4 off-road package. We also, if I didn't mention, I'm pretty sure I didn't mention, but we get both heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Heated outside mirrors are included as well. But anyway, we'll take a step out onto this road. Looks like we have the chance. And you know what? Looks like we have a chance to try an acceleration off the line. So let's just come to a complete stop right here. And on the gas. Oh yeah. Yep, it definitely gets there pretty quickly. I can certainly see zero to 60 happening in the mid six second range. Probably not any quicker than that because it kind of falls on its face at around 5,500, but throwing it in way faster than we should. The handling is sharp, coming out. Whew, definitely gets up and goes, but the speed limit looks like it's a little bit lower. So we'll turn around, try a couple more acceleration runs. We have a speed bump coming up. So as far as ride quality, wow. That didn't feel much harsher than the Bronco with those 37s that we reviewed in this channel. Turning radius, 
and body roll is also basically non-existent. You know, let's test out this body roll. So we'll throw it in for that little U-turn a little quicker. Boom, throwing it in. A little bit of body roll. You hear that water bottle flying around. But very limited when it comes to it. All right, everyone, come back out, lean into it, and on the gas, let's go. Ooh. The shifts don't feel that quick, but they're responsive on the brakes, throwing it in. Sharp feel, sharp feel. Guys, this is a pickup truck. A pickup truck shouldn't be feeling this sporty. And it's just a Larry a trim level. I'm thinking they could do like a Raptor version of the Maverick. I don't know if anybody would buy it. I just know that I would have a great time driving it. Maybe throw in a 2.7 V6 EcoBoost, maybe a three liter V6 EcoBoost, tune it to like 400 plus horsepower with the all wheel drive system. I guarantee this thing will hit zero to 60 in the mid four second range. So I hope Ford ends up thinking about doing that. Maybe they do like a hybrid power plant where they do this two liter turbo with their hybrid system, get us to about 350 horsepower. But I would love to have a high performance Ford Maverick. There is a cop that's been sitting here all day. It looks like he is not here anymore. Oh, he is definitely there. He's just not in his car. So, yep, that's him. So, okay, right here. He shouldn't be able to see us or hear us if we come to a complete stop. So, right here, complete stop. And on the gas, go. Boost. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. We don't have to push it a whole lot farther than that. But as you saw, we get to speeds really quickly. This is a quick, quick vehicle. The handling is sharp. Body roll is non-existent. The space in the back is impressive. If you're in the market for a spacious vehicle that you can throw some kayaks into, throw some sandbags, the payload capacity is well over a thousand pounds in this vehicle. So all in all, if you're in the market for a new vehicle and you know that you need the space, you know that you hate driving trucks, but you also know that you could really benefit from owning one. So you like to kayak, you like to fish, you like to hunt, but you just hate driving trucks. This is the perfect vehicle for you because you don't compromise anything at all. As far as driving dynamics, this feels like a car. The acceleration is solid. The turn in, the handling is good. The steering feels solid too. You're not sitting too low to the ground like you would with a sedan, but you're not sitting so obnoxiously high up that you need running boards like you would with a pickup truck. This is truly a perfect balance and I would definitely recommend anybody that's an outdoorsy person but doesn't like driving trucks to definitely check this one out. All in all, you guys know I'm impressed with this all-new 2022 Ford Maverick. We reviewed the XL trim level, which costs around twenty-two to $23,000. And I was so impressed with it. I was borderline ready to buy one because of the practicality, the performance. There's just nothing on the road that can't compete. And now that we get the chance to get our hands on the Lariat trim with the luxury package and FX4 off-road package, this is unbelievable. For $35,000, $36,000, I understand we're starting to get up there in price for a compact non really tow capable truck but you're still getting a lot for the money considering the luxury of the materials if you're looking for a small truck you don't need to tow trailers you just want to be able to tow maybe like a small electric boat so you can have a nice night on the pond tow a couple of kayaks throw some kayaks with some tie downs in the bed this is perfect you have all the power all the performance that you could possibly need the fuel economy if you're not getting 25 26 mpgs in any other truck outside of maybe the hyundai santa cruz and we haven't gotten the chance to review a santa cruz with a two and a half liter turbo engine but we reviewed the two two and a half liter naturally aspirated santa cruz and you just can't compete the two vehicles in terms of performance this car is just so much faster the interior materials with this lariat trim are more impressive in my opinion so the base price at 26 or 26,500. this ford maverick lariat with a two and a half liter turbo is a fantastic fantastic bargain and a huge thanks to Zach and Rico here at Ford of Port Ritchie for making this review possible. Beautiful dealership. They have an impressive inventory of modified Mustangs, modified F-150s, and your regular inventory of just regular Fords too. So if you're in the market for a car, SUV, or truck in the Tampa, Clearwater, Port Ritchie area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Zach. And huge thanks to all you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all subscribers. You know, the channel is just not possible without you guys. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.